so can I do this for you or not? Remember what I told you guys about him trying to dig a hole to China? Okay, he's comfy. Little pinky. Hey everyone, so if you've been following me on Twitter, which I suggest you should, I feel like such an old person. I just got into Twitter recently. My links are all down below if you want to go follow. But you'd know that I posted up a picture of this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation that I recently got, as well as the concealer. But I'm going to review the concealer in a separate video because it just... It's just a whole nother thing. And as well as the brush. The lady at the counter was like, you need that brush, you're not gonna like the foundation without it. People can't usually sell me things if I don't want them. You know how it's what they do, they try to you know, make you buy things. And people don't usually do that. My husband, on the other hand, is a compulsive shopper. So he was like, you know you're gonna want it anyways. So I ended up getting it just to see what it was all about. I've literally been wearing this foundation for a week straight. I wore it with a primer, I've worn it with a powder, I've worn it with both, I've worn it with just the foundation, I've worn it in every single way that I possibly could so I could just give you guys an ideal overall review that I have for it. Now my skin is freaking out right now so I don't really know what to tell you about my skin type. For the most part I've always had oily combination skin my entire life but recently during this pregnancy um, my skin just freaked out and I've had dry patches around here. I'll include pictures about what it, how it looked with the foundation. I don't know if it's really my pregnancy that has been making my, some of my skin dry or if it's a face wash that I've been using that I've stopped using and my skin is getting better. I just kept the box so I could show you guys and read off what's on the back of it. <laughs> so now let's just get on with this review already. The box says that it's a big baker says it's a breakthrough tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one created with exceptional purity in mind this ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage a natural finish and the look and feel of beautiful bare skin while delivering a more noticeably brighter youthful appearance made with the bare minimum ingredients and formulated without water oil silicone parabens or fragrance it's like nothing you've ever felt before Dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, formulated for all skin types and skin tones. Now they do have a very wide shade variety. Very wide shade variety. It consists of, it consists of 20 shades and it was pretty easy to find my shade. I have an olive undertone. Well, I could do either neutral or like that yellow undertone, but mostly yellow looks better on me. The shade that I got was Bare Beige 08, and it also has broad spectrum SPF of 20. It is one fluid ounce, which is standard foundation size. And when you open it, it's a really cute box. It's like pink. It's like, you don't expect it. It's like a pop of color, pink. It says, shake well gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. It's plastic packaging. Whoa! <laughs> plastic packaging, so if you drop it, you don't run the risk of it breaking. And the top is like, I don't know, it just has that extra seal to it where you know it's closed. But that's also a plus. Just so you could avoid the explosion in the possible makeup bag or purse. We don't want that. So now I'm just going to shake it like it said. I'm not going to go completely in depth about the brush. The brush just has a little crater in the middle where you're supposed to drop the foundation fluid drops into. I'll definitely do a whole review just of what I thought about this brush on my blog so just keep a lookout for that and make sure that you are subscribed to my blog as well. You could just put the email, it's on the sidebar. Ugh! It just like exploded on me. It's probably for me. I don't even know what, but... So it said that you only need two drops for light coverage. However, I needed more than two drops. But if you put it on the back of your hand and then dab it onto your skin and just blend it in with a brush, it just goes on 
smoothly as well. So I'm just going to put the little splurt that happened onto the brush here. So hopefully this camera is picking up all the redness that I have and um, dark spots and stuff like that that is lovely. I'm just going to apply this on half of my face. So this is half of my face with the foundation on. I don't know if this camera is like picking up very well. I definitely have to invest a new one. I don't know if this makes it any better. But as you can see it covered up a lot of dark spots and things like that. That I have as well over here. And this is the side without any foundation on. So foundation. No foundation. <laughs> And now I'm just going to apply it on the other half of my face. I'm going to put three drops. Do I think you need to buy the brush? Absolutely not. If you have the Real Techniques buffing brush, the Expert Face brush, it will work just fine. And I actually don't get the concept of the whole, whole thing. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but the little crater in the middle being there, I feel like I just have to like dig like push in a little bit more to get the product on my face. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. <sighs> oh, I took my hoops off because I just wasn't feeling it anymore and neither was I with the headband. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I just got out the shower recently so my hair is still wet and it's still getting to its curly form. I told you guys I wore this foundation for about a week straight and then I started to use another foundation that I'm going to review soon for you guys. And my husband noticed right away. I don't know if it was maybe because that day I had bolder eyebrows. But when he saw me, he was just like, I don't know, it just doesn't look natural like it has been. So if you're looking to purchase this because you like that no makeup feel, that no makeup look, like then definitely go for it because it just looks so nice on the face. This foundation is buildable. So I'm just going to apply another layer just to show you guys what it looks like. I personally just like that one layer and that's what the other side of my face looks like with a second layer. I also put it under my eyes. I haven't been sleeping well lately so there's those eye baggies for you. And it still feels light, it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't look cakey. This is the side with just one layer on you can still see you know your little imperfections layers just for if you just want to even out the skin tone but you don't really you want your natural skin to show through and then this is the side with two layers on I look at my ear it's so red let's just put some of that on there look at that it just like concealed that but earrings were just not working out for me so this is the side with two layers and this is the side with one and this is one layer. Your skin is still showing through, but your skin tone is a little bit more even. And then this side, I put some under the eyes as well, and it concealed a little bit more. I also did it on this side, but this side has two layers. This is what my whole face looks like with two layers on. Do you need two layers? Not really, but could you do it if you want that buildable coverage? Of course, will it look cakey? No. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face, the rest of my makeup, and then I will be right back so we can talk about this product. Everything that I have on my face will be listed down below as well as my blog. So let's just get into my overall view of this foundation, like the pros, the cons. So the pros are that it is very light, it looks very natural, and it has buildable coverage without the cakey feeling. Now the cons that I had were that it clinged on to dry patches. Like I said, my skin was freaking out the other week, and it still is kind of, but it's getting better. Around my mouth, I had all these flaky, dry skin issues. 
um, and it was just around here and it just clings onto it so bad. I'll again show you the picture. So I definitely don't recommend this to someone who has dry skin just because of the fact of how bad it just clung onto those dry patches. So if you're someone who has many dry patches and you have those types of troubles on your face, then I do not recommend this foundation for you. I did go and search a few other reviews to see other people's opinions and people who did have oily skin said that it made them very oily throughout the day. So that's just something to keep in mind. I recommend this foundation to someone who has normal to dry skin, not like completely dry, definitely not as you saw in those pictures, but just for someone who has a normal skin type, this would look amazing on you. I have very large pores and I also saw that it didn't it didn't cover them. I just started getting into primers and I'm currently trying out a few. The ones that I'm using I guess aren't very doing much. It dries to almost a powdery finish. It almost looks like I have powder on my face, but I don't. So if you don't like that little powder finish, I guess, then do not get this foundation. And another con that I had was that it transfers so easily. The first day that I wore this foundation, I was editing a video and my sweater was like this and I had my chin resting on it. As soon as I took it off, there was just foundation everywhere. Throughout the day, I would go like this and the foundation just slides right off. I wore it with a powder, but like I said, it dries to almost a powdery finish. So I didn't like the way that it looked with a powder. However, if you are oily, of course, you know, blot away, try it out for yourself. This does retail for $29. I don't think I mentioned the price as well as the brush. It retails for $29 as well. It's just a very dense brush. If you have, like I said, the Real Techniques uh, buffer brush, expert face brush, um, or flat brush, anything of the sort, then you could work with that. I did not like the way that it looked with a beauty blender. I did try it out with a beauty blender and I just... I don't know, something about it I did not like. So if you're looking for a stay in place foundation, this is not it. It does last a long time, I must say. By the end of the night, if you have dry patches, it would just cling on to those areas so bad. And in my nose, I guess just because of the way my nose is shaped, it like caked up a little bit in between my nostril, like in this area right here wouldn't want to touch my face so if you're face touchers and just don't even bother because you can't touch your face at all with this foundation it transfers so bad like and if you just merely go like this or just scratch a little bit like it's just all gonna come off overall I definitely think that someone who has normal skin and not that many large pores or if you have a great primer just let me know down below because I'm looking for one but if you use a good primer that you would love this foundation it would just be perfect for you I like it um, I must admit though in the beginning like the first few days that I tried it the first three four days it was a love and hate relationship that I had with it, it was just an overall mix of emotions with it this is the foundation that I wore in my online shopping fail video that I posted I think about two videos ago and I was also wearing the serum concealer in that video as well and if you're wondering I don't have the concealer on today I actually didn't put any concealer on when I finished up my makeup I always ask my husband how do you think this looks and how do you think this looks he's gotten used to the fact he's gotten over the fact about having to answer the question but by now he knows the type of response I want like does it look natural does it look like I have a lot of makeup on and he's very honest I mean he's told me like you look like you have wrinkles around your mouth before so I trust his opinion very much <laughs> And for his opinion, he thought that this foundation looked very nice, just if you guys wanted to know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have shared all the details that I've wanted to about this foundation. And if you've seen 
my past few videos these past few months you know that I don't wear makeup all the time except in the fall which is an exception if you saw my 10 reasons why I love the fall then you'll know all about it I'll have everything linked down below right now I'm breaking my own record of the days that I've been wearing makeup consecutively <laughs> Okay, so I'm officially going to stop rambling now. I will have a full review of this brush on my blog. If ever I do post it, I will leave it linked down below from this video. I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know anything else that you want to see, any other foundations, whether it be like a $2 foundation. I really do not discriminate, okay? But I will get it done for you. I apologize if this video ends up being really long. I just talk a lot all the time. As always, I appreciate as always, I appreciate. As always, I appreciate. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi, appreciate you.